morning everyone, or should I say maray, maupay na agas sa inyong tanan. I hope you all had a wonderful morning in your hotel. I am Javelin Sanchez, your humble tour guide for today's adventure. On the other hand, I want you to meet also our bus driver, Mang Juan. Mang Juan is a professional bus driver and I will assure you that he will take us to our destination safe and sound. On behalf of Hunter Association Tour, your safety is our utmost priority. Now, let's do the head count. One, two, three, ten. Okay, perfect. I know you guys are all very excited, but I want you to remember the word safe. S-A-F-E. S stands for synchronize your time with mine so that no one will left behind. My time with me is 8.35 a.m. Next letter is A. Always wear your face mask and your face shield throughout the tour to ensure your safety against the virus. Also, strictly follow the social distancing and have your alcohol on your side. Next letter is F. Frequently check your belongings. Never left them unattended like your bags, your wallets, and your important gadgets. Last letter is E. Ensure that your trash will be thrown in the right place. Please be responsible and kindly practice clean as you go. Another friendly reminder is to know my signal. If I wave this flag up, it means that we only have 20 minutes to roam around. If I whistle once, it means that we only have 5 minutes left. But if I whistle twice, it means that we're on to our next spot. Now, by any chance that you are not feeling well, I have here an emergency tool kit. So please kindly raise that concern immediately. Are there any questions? None? Okay, great. As you can see guys, Tacloban City is the gateway of all splendid things in Eastern Visayas has to offer. Although it was devastated to an irreparable extent during the catastrophic typhoon Yolanda, the city seems to be coping just fine. The townspeople were as lively as ever, and the traces of that dreadful day Yolanda came to shatter every life in the city were no longer evident in their faces. Instead, there were smile and genuine bliss painted all over where tears and pain and resiliency had been. The people of Tacloban definitely embodied those redeeming qualities at best. Based on our data itinerary, we first stop at MacArthur Landing National Memorial Park. From there then go to San Monico Bridge. And by 11.40 am, we will go to our last spot which is a taste of Filipino delicacies for our lunch and for also our pasalubong at the Jasmine restaurant. This trip will be filled with oozing history. And speaking of it, I think we just have a ride. Welcome to MacArthur Landing National Memorial Park. Considered as one of the most historical towns in Leyte, Palo is the site where General Douglas MacArthur landed when he returned to the Philippines together with hundreds of military forces on October 20, 1944. A landing memorial was erected at the Reed Beach to mark the spot where MacArthur and his troops landed. The word red at Red Beach is not because the sand here is red. Rather, it refers to the color of the beach after being drenched in blood during the war. Do you have any questions? I will now give you my permission. You have 20 minutes to roam around. Love is bridge between you and everything. Welcome to San Juaneco Bridge. The San Juanico Bridge connecting the provinces of Samar and Leyte is one of the monumental projects under former President Ferdinand Marcos administration. It is known to be the longest bridge in the Philippines spanning a body of seawater with a length of 2.16 kilometers and a width of 10.62 meters. Supported by 43 spans, the construction of the bridge commenced during 1969 presidential campaign. It was finally completed after four years later, in 1973. It was inaugurated on July 2nd in celebration of Imelda Marcos' birthday. One of the reasons it is dubbed as the Bridge of Love is because it is literally a bridge. The thing that made it vulnerable to the people of both provinces is that it made trade easier and transportation more efficient. 
not for just the two provinces but as well as for the other nearby provinces as well. Welcome to Jasmine Restaurant. You can also buy their native delicacies for your pasalubong to your families and friends. Their most known native delicacies are Boron, Binagol, Bukayo, Sumanlatig, and Roscas. I know you guys can't wait but if you have any allergies, please raise them with me, okay? So I've already reserved our seat inside so come on, let's eat our hard salad. Did we all have a full tummy? Delicious? Marasa? I bet you do. Alright, let's do the head count. 1, 2, 3, 10. Okay, perfect. Now, if you are planning to come back here in Tacloban City, if possible, make it on the month of May to June to witness the festival. Like the Pintados Casadians Festival, celebrated every 29th of June. This event will last a whole month. The other one is the Sangyao Festival, which will be held about a month before the Pintados Casadian Festival. So it is around on May. It's sad to say it is the end of our tour, but remember, it's not the end of our journey. On behalf of Hunter Association Tour, our bus driver Mang Juan, and I, your humble tour guide Lance, it's a pleasure to be spending our time with you. Sit back and relax as we drive you all to the hotel. Thank you very much everyone. Damo nga salamat sa inyong tanan.